So once you find the location that you would like to build your base, the first thing you want to do is put down your village square, obviously, and then you want to check it. You want to check and make sure that nothing is going uphill. Over here in one corner, I see that it's going up a hill a little bit, and it's a little sketchy because I don't want my foundation to have to be an extra layer high all the way around just based off that one corner. So just to be safe, I'm going to go into my village square and I'm going to remove village, not destroy it. Remove village will let you move the entire perimeter. Destroying it won't. Okay, so once that's done, the first thing you want to do is build your wood foundation piece right inside the base perimeter. If you want it to be inside, and be very careful, make sure you get it right, and then from there it gets easy. You just start placing blocks down. If there's any obstacles in your way, go ahead and destroy those. If there are any trees, make sure that after you destroy the trees that you dig the, the roots up or the sapling up so they never grow back and they won't be growing through your floor, and then you can just continue placing your foundation around the edge. Now, once you get to the end, the long foundation piece will not fit. So obviously you're gonna have to use some smaller ones. So you can just put one smaller piece and then turn one of these sideways, snap it in the middle and tap it over to make sure it's all staying on the same, uh, the same height. It's really important that you fill in the gaps underneath your foundation. So if it won't snap in, take a smaller piece and snap it onto the piece next to it and you should be able to just go from there. And you want to do this all around your base, anywhere there's, uh, you can see light underneath it. Now when you get to the other corner, it's the same thing. You put one piece, one small piece, snap on the big piece and just tap it in to be flush and fill it underneath it, just like we talked about earlier. And from this point on, it's pretty uh, pretty basic to finish the outside perimeter foundation. You just keep filling in. Sometimes it will not snap underneath, and sometimes it will. It's, it depends on how low to the ground, how small the gap is, or if there's any piece next to it. So sometimes you have to move it like this and tap it around to get it underneath there. Now, once you finish all the way around the perimeter, you're going to end up with a spot just like this, and you just fill it in with four small blocks. Now, for the corners, you want to use the palatial corner. Well, you can use any corner you want, but in this case, the palatial corner, you want to put it on all four corners, and then you want to take palatial pillar number one. Now, when I place these palatial pillar number ones on, on either side of these palatial corners, I try to make it so the slit faces out so it just looks better. Because one side is just flat and the other side has like a slit design in it. Now we're going to grab the gate wall too. And we're going to build these out, nine gate wall number twos from each corner. And that'll leave enough room in the middle for a door to fit, as long as you put the gate wall number one on either side, which I'll show you right here. So you want to go to the, the um, building walls and go down to the gate wall number one and put one on either side of this. So once you get those in, you want to scroll down to doors. And this door should fit perfect in there, palatial door number one. There we go. Now all you gotta do is repeat that on all four sides. They're all exactly the same since the base is square. Now, the floor tiles that I'm using for the size I'm using, it leaves a, a four extra spaces. So what I did, on my village is I took these um, these wood thin floors, the, the long ones, and I just put them around the edge. But for this video, I'm just gonna put one in the corner on each side so I can start laying the floor for you guys so I can show you how that works. Now I use these wide floors, number one. Be they are smaller, there are bigger ones. These are 12 by 12 and there are 16 by 16s. And the reason I do that is because I want, I want the pathway when you walk in the base to line up with the door. Also, it's actually less materials to build this way because two of these, which takes one wood each, is more square footage than one of the big ones that takes two wood. So you're actually saving material. It will take you less wood to build this floor if you use the smaller tiles. Uh, you can use whatever style you want, obviously. Also, if you want to make a pattern or make yours, yours unique, you can also rotate these around. 
every other one, just like I did on my desert village on the sea. That's pretty much that part. And then you can go ahead and fill these outer edges in. Now when you get to the door, if you're going to have a different color pathway, you can put it down. And then you can find two small pieces like this and they will fit up against the door. Okay, so now that's done, the only thing left to do from here is just fill in the rest of the floor. Now I'm not doing any pattern here, I'm just throwing them in, which actually looks fine. Now you see all those trees in the background, you gotta destroy those and dig them up, otherwise they'll grow through your floor. Now what you wanna do, obviously you don't want your village square down underneath your floor, so destroy it. And what I'm doing for this video is I'm putting a different color of flooring here so, so I can easily see where the center is. And then I'm just going to place it back on top of that right in the middle. There we go. So yeah, that's about it. Um, this is part one, um, possibly. Uh, this video did take a while for me, so it's, it's a lot of time consumed for me to make videos like this. So if this video does do well and I get decent views and comments and likes on it, I will make part two and I will do the whole series and show you guys how to build my exact village that I have on my survival server that I posted like a little over two weeks ago. Anyways, other than that, I hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you in the next one.